Tenet ending explained, unraveling the mysteries of the movie. Christopher Nolan has always liked to keep the mystery to his movies, and his latest film Tenet has proven to be no exception. Tenet is a mind-bender and mind-boggling film. So have you watched Tenet? Christopher Nolan's Tenet, released this week in the UK. The movie is confusing, bewildering, and brilliant in equal measure, especially on your first watch. What is in the movie? In the movie, in Tenet's universe, the protagonist, John David Washington, shows a bullet with inverted entropy. Inverted is the idea that objects and people can be sent back in time to the present, but with inverted entropy, everything happens backward. So, the protagonist and his right-hand man Neil Robert Pattinson from the future try to stop Russian oligarch Sater, Kenneth Branagh, to destroy the present. Sater has spent his life and a lot of wealth searching for the algorithm pieces. When he has collected all the parts, he plans to activate the algorithm and end the world in the present day. Sater believes that if he can't live on the Earth, then no one else should either. It's the mentality he displays to his wife Kat, Elizabeth Debicki, and blackmails her to stay with him showing his devastatingly cruel side. Sater believes that if he can't be with his wife in a relationship, no one can be either. We can say that the movie has an idea of the battle between the past and the future on two fronts and places us in the middle of the war. What is the Tenet organization? Tenet is an organization using temporal pincer movement to stop Sater. They plan to send two armed units in time, one traveling backward and other forward, to the activation site to control the algorithm and destroy it forever. Cat as the barrier to Sater's mission. In the movie, Cat's sent back to the time in Sater's yacht, where they look thrilled together. That's the exact moment before he plans to kill himself and end the world. She is there to buy some extra time for the two units of Tenet. Eventually, Cat kills Sater before he accomplishes his mission, and the protagonist manages to grab the algorithm and destroy it. Finally, the protagonist kills Priya to protect Cat and the Tenet organization. Priya is the wealthy arms dealer and the woman who first told the protagonist about Sater and a vital movie player. In the film's final scene, Priya tries to kill Cat to tie up loose ends from the mission. The protagonist stops Priya and shoots her dead before her men can aim at Kat. The protagonist doesn't want Kat to die, but he also doesn't want someone like Priya to live, who knows a little too much about Tenet. Well, as the protagonist explained in the epilogue when he sat behind Priya, he was the one who started Tenet in the first place. He inverted himself in the future, set up the whole mission, then recruited Neil and arm him with the information he needed to help. It appears he even recruited himself in the mission. Neil sadly explains to the protagonist that this was his last mission in Tenet's journey, but it was just the protagonist's start. The protagonist believed that in the future, at some point, he would find the Tenet organization, then would send himself back in time to carry out the missions. It feels like a puzzle piece has been placed that will allow us to see the full picture. In this way, it more closely resembles Memento's ending, or it might just be the beginning. What do you think, guys? The story is quite confusing, right? Shall we find out all the puzzles after watching the film once or maybe twice? So we need to wait until the movie is released. Thank you for joining us. Please hit the like and subscribe to our channel for more updates and the latest news.